YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to AJ's Garage. This video is going to be a short one. Uh, I'm just going to go over the gauges um, in the truck. I had to make some minor uh, changes and replace a few things, so I'll show you guys what I did there. Also, we're going to touch back to the previous video, um, and I'm going to show you guys how the, the hood trim turned out, uh, turned out on the truck. I installed that uh, about a few days ago here, so I'll show you guys how it looks. So here is the hood trim installed on the truck. Really happy with how it changes the front appearance. Uh, looks really complete and correct. Zooming in, uh, it cleaned up really well. I'll just use some, some steel wool and just kind of cleaned up a little bit of the gunk on it. Especially in these areas here where stuff can kind of just get in there and start sitting, but cleaned up really, really well. This is one of the fasteners that I had ordered from LMC. They didn't end up working out so well. The original ones that I showed you guys in the previous video, which I had four of, were a lot longer. Um, and a little bit off center so they weren't as, kind of as straight as this one is and this little wire piece was a little lot longer so they they sat better this has a groove on this side this top side here and then on the bottom so they sat better in there they kind of wedged themselves in there and didn't move so what I did is I lined them up I used those four um, I believe in the two holes there and then kind of near the outer edges and these didn't really sit well so uh, once I got those other four ones in, I, I put these in and had to kind of tighten them up until they until they sat against the lip and then pulled it against the hood. But um, if I didn't have those original ones, it probably would have been extremely difficult to get get that on. But um, was able to get it on using both, and really happy how it turned out. So here I have my gauges that came out of my F-250. This is the front cover and then this back cover is the one that came out of the 69 F-250 and then to the left are the gauges. So my speedometer here is already been pulled out or I took it out already. I'm going to be replacing this one with that one and the reason being is the speedo cable and you can kind of see that little white or I don't know what you would call that but it's like a little plastic clip end um, is snapped off in there so whoever pulled the gauges out prior or I don't know what they're trying to do snapped it in there um, and I can't get that out so I'm going to take the speedometer off that one and replace it here I was able to remove the speedo cable on that one uh, without any issues, so that one will be good to go. I just need to get a new cable for my truck. Um, also, my temperature gauge, um, when I pull these apart, I kind of just ran my finger over them and that one smeared a little bit. So same thing, I'm gonna pull that one and replace it. Plus a few little things as far as just completing the set. Um, see these these top mounting points there this one that came out of the 69 had this I don't know protective plate whatever that may be um, of course no one's gonna see it but just because it's on that one I'm gonna put it on this one so I know it's complete so let me get going on that okay so I removed all the gauges out of my uh, gauge cluster here you could call it I just kind of cleaned it up a little bit so now I'm gonna start reassembling um, and then starting with the speedometer over there so here the, is the gauge cluster all reassembled remember I swapped out the speedo and the temperature gauge up here from the gauges on the 69 f-250 this little metal plate here they went on top of the dash piece to the 69 this is the one from my 70 
that goes up here um, doesn't sit right on mine. Uh, the angle is a little is a little different, and I have to force this down. Let's see, it would go this way. Force this down a little bit to sit. I wouldn't want that over time to put pressure on the top here um, and crack that. So I'm not going to put that on. I'm just going to reassemble these right now um, and get them back in the truck. All right, so I got the gauges all reassembled, the cluster reassembled. This front piece here is from the 69 F250. It's got a little bit of um, rust and just some discoloration there. I didn't clean it up too good, just mainly um, what's visible. This is the one that was on my truck. I tried to use some uh, cleaner on the back of it and it kind of seeped through and kind of messed with the, the black paint there. So instead of repainting the whole thing, um, just clean that one up. Also, I ordered a new lens, brand spanking new, super clean, clear. This is the one that was on my truck previously. And it didn't look like it was that bad, but once I took it off and cleaned it up, you know, that looks terrible. So I don't want to put that back on. So I'm going to just reassemble it real quick and uh, we'll get it back in the truck. So here are the gauges all reassembled. Really happy with how it turned out. Looks really, really clean. Again, I swapped out the speedometer from the 69 F250 and the temperature gauge as well. I just need to replace the circuit here. This is not uh, making a good connection at all. So um, I'm going to replace that. I should <clears throat> solve the issue because while driving at night, of course, with the lights on, sometimes the gauges would light up, sometimes they wouldn't. Most of the time they wouldn't. So hopefully that, that corrects that and put these back in the truck.